If you're accustomed to an operating system like Windows or Mac OS, you'll have used a graphical file manager like this one that lets you create file names with spaces in them. You can copy those files onto the Compute Canada clusters and they work just fine. The only characters that are illegal in file names in Linux are the forward slash character, which separates path components, and a null character. But the command line shell that you interact with does care about spaces it, it, that uses them to separate commands and arguments. For example, if I type cat data1.dat, that fails because the shell splits on the space character and treats it as two separate arguments and neither of those arguments exist as files. This can also be dangerous if you have file names that are too similar to each other. For example, if I want to remove log2, the shell splits it into log and 2. 2 doesn't exist, but log does, and so I've actually deleted the wrong file. The way to deal with this is to use what's called quoting. There's two basic methods. The first is to precede any space with a backslash, and the second is to surround the entire file name with double quotes. You don't have to worry about spaces in file names that are expanded. For example, output star actually works as expected. That's because the shell performs word splitting on spaces before it performs expansion, and so once the file names are expanded, they are not split again.